In the world of rocket engines, there's always a next level. While everyone's talking about Starship's Raptor 3, the powerhouse that's already pushing the boundaries of what's possible, SpaceX has been quietly working on something even more extraordinary. Meet Raptor 4. This isn't just another iteration. It's a complete reimagining of rocket propulsion that's about to change everything we thought we knew about space travel. With unprecedented power levels reaching 330 tons of thrust, the Raptor 4 isn't just breaking records, it's shattering them. Think about this. When the Saturn V took humans to the moon, it was the most powerful rocket ever built. The Raptor 4 will help create a vehicle three times more powerful. That's not evolution, that's revolution. But raw power is just the beginning. What makes the Raptor 4 truly special is how SpaceX has stripped away complexity, replacing hundreds of parts with seamless engineering that's both lighter and more reliable than anything that's come before. Today, we're going behind the scenes to reveal exactly how SpaceX is building this game-changing engine, what makes it different from its predecessors, and why competitors are struggling to keep up. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The story of Raptor 4 begins with a challenge that seemed impossible just a few years ago. When SpaceX first unveiled the original Raptor engine, skeptics said its full-flow stage combustion cycle would never work reliably. They said the pressures were too high, the engineering too complex, the goals too ambitious. But SpaceX didn't just prove them wrong, they rewrote the rulebook of rocket engine design. Let's take a moment to understand just how far we've come. The journey from Raptor 1 to Raptor 4 isn't just about increasing power, it's about rethinking everything we know about rocket engines. Back in 2019, when Raptor 1 first fired up at SpaceX's test facility in McGregor, Texas, it was already pushing boundaries. But at 185 tons of thrust, it was just the beginning. Raptor 2 marked the first major breakthrough. SpaceX's engineers accomplished something remarkable. They stripped away complexity while adding power. The engine shed 400 kilograms of weight while pushing thrust up to 230 tons at sea level. Every gram of weight reduction Every percentage point of thrust increase represented countless hours of innovation and refinement. Then came Raptor 3, and with it, a fundamental shift in engine design philosophy. The numbers tell an incredible story. 280 tons of thrust at sea level, scaling up to 306 tons in vacuum. But what's truly revolutionary is how they achieved it. The team eliminated entire subsystems, removed heat shields that everyone thought were essential, and integrated components in ways that had never been attempted before. This brings us to Raptor 4, and the numbers are staggering. 330 tons of thrust. That's more than 50% higher than Raptor 1, achieved in just a few years. But raw power isn't the whole story. What makes Raptor 4 truly special is how it generates that power. The secret lies in what you don't see. Traditional rocket engines are marvels of complexity, Hundreds of individual parts working in precise harmony, but with each part comes a potential point of failure. SpaceX's engineers looked at this problem differently. Instead of accepting complexity as necessary, they asked, what if we could make it simpler? The result is an engine that looks deceptively basic from the outside, but inside it's a testament to engineering elegance. Where Raptor 1 had multiple separate cooling circuits, Raptor 4 integrates them into a single, more efficient system. Where traditional engines use mechanical joints and flanges, Raptor 4 employs advanced welding techniques that eliminate potential leak points and reduce weight. This simplified design carries another crucial advantage, manufacturability. While the original Raptor required weeks to assemble, SpaceX can now produce multiple engines per day. This isn't just about saving time, it's about making space travel truly routine. But achieving this level of simplification wasn't easy. The engineering team faced countless challenges. Early prototypes failed in spectacular ways. Each failure taught valuable lessons, leading to innovations that would have seemed impossible just months before. The breakthrough came when they realized that by pushing the engine's operating pressures even higher to levels that would have been considered reckless just a few years ago, they could actually make the engine more reliable, not less. The impact on Starship's capabilities is transformative. 
With 33 Raptor 4 engines, the Super Heavy Booster will generate over 10,000 tons of thrust at liftoff. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a quantum leap that opens up entirely new possibilities for space exploration. Consider this. When the Saturn V took humans to the moon, it required careful mass optimization and left little room for error. Starship, powered by Raptor 4, will be able to lift three times that mass to orbit. This excess capacity means more payload, more fuel for deep space missions, and more margin for safety. The competition is struggling to keep pace. Blue Origin's BE-4 engine, once considered Raptor's main rival, now looks like technology from a previous era. While B-4 remains stuck at 250 tons of thrust, Raptor 4 is pushing beyond 330 tons. But the gap isn't just in raw power, it's in reliability, reusability, and production speed. Chinese companies are racing to catch up, with some making impressive progress. Landspace's Zhuke-2 rocket, powered by their own methane engines, has achieved orbit. But they're still years behind where SpaceX was with Raptor 1, let alone Raptor 4's capabilities. Looking ahead, the implications are enormous. Raptor 4 isn't just an engine. It's the key to making space travel as routine as air travel. With weekly Starship launches planned from Florida by 2026, we're entering an era where access to space will be limited only by imagination, not technology. But the journey isn't over. SpaceX is already testing new materials and manufacturing techniques that could push performance even further. The goal isn't just to make better engines, it's to make space accessible to everyone. Each Raptor 4 engine represents thousands of hours of engineering refinement, countless failed experiments, and breakthroughs that seemed impossible until they were achieved. It's a testament to what happens when you combine ambitious goals with relentless innovation. The next few years will be crucial. As SpaceX ramps up Starship launches, Raptor 4 will face its ultimate test. The engine must perform flawlessly, not just during launch, but during the complex dance of orbital refueling and the challenging return to Earth. Success here won't just validate SpaceX's approach. It will open the door to Mars and beyond. The story of Raptor 4 is more than just technical achievement. It's about pushing boundaries, challenging assumptions, and refusing to accept conventional limitations. With each successful test, each breakthrough in manufacturing, we move closer to a future where the stars are within reach. This isn't just about building better rockets. It's about expanding human civilization beyond Earth. Raptor 4 is the engine that will take us there, one launch at a time. As we watch Starship tests in the coming months, remember, each launch is writing a new chapter in human history. The Raptor 4 isn't just another engine. It's the key that unlocks humanity's next giant leap. With its debut expected in 2026, we're witnessing the dawn of a new era in spaceflight. Each breakthrough in thrust, each innovation in design, brings us closer to making life multi-planetary. The message is clear. SpaceX isn't just building better engines. They're revolutionizing how we approach space travel. From eliminating complexity to pushing the boundaries of material science, every aspect of Raptor 4 represents a step toward making space accessible to everyone. Want to stay updated on Raptor 4's development and SpaceX's journey to revolutionize space travel? Hit that subscribe button and join our growing community at Elon Musk 24 Hours. Share your thoughts on Raptor 4's capabilities in the comments below. I'm especially curious to hear your predictions about its impact on future Mars missions. Don't forget to like this video if you learned something new today. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we track humanity's journey to the stars, one breakthrough at a time. An engineering milestone is unfolding at Cape Canaveral today. Blue Origin's towering New Glenn rocket, standing as tall as the historic Saturn V, has taken its place on Launch Complex 36 for crucial pre-flight testing. The signs are unmistakable. Active methane flare stacks illuminate the Florida coast, while controlled venting indicates sophisticated cryogenic operations are underway. This 98-meter giant represents the latest challenger in the commercial space race, preparing to join the ranks of heavy-lift vehicles capable of deploying massive payloads to orbit. 
From the ground to the air, our exclusive multi-angle coverage captures every detail of this historic test campaign. As the aerospace industry watches closely, we're bringing you unprecedented access to these critical preparations for New Glenn's upcoming maiden flight. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your premier source for space industry developments. Let's dive right in. The sheer scale of Blue Origin's New Glenn tells a story of human ambition reaching skyward. With seven BE-4 engines ready to unleash 17 meganewtons of raw power, what we're witnessing today at Launch Complex 36 marks a pivotal moment in commercial spaceflight. The rocket's towering presence against the Florida sky isn't just impressive, it represents years of engineering dreams finally taking physical form. Today's testing has revealed an unexpected level of sophistication in New Glenn's operations. The methane flare stack's brilliant flames pierce the morning haze, while controlled venting from the liquid natural gas tank creates an ethereal cloud around the vehicle's upper section. These aren't just routine procedures. They're the culmination of countless hours of design, testing, and refinement by some of the world's finest aerospace engineers. But the story of New Glenn goes deeper than today's tests. In a dramatic shift from traditional rocket development, Blue Origin has committed to an ambitious goal of 25 flights per booster. This isn't just about reusability, it's about revolutionizing our access to space. Each successful landing will write a new chapter in spaceflight history, building upon the legacy of their New Shepard program while pushing the boundaries of what's possible. A crucial turning point came during New Glenn's development when engineers faced the challenge of aerodynamic control during descent. While competitors opted for grid fins, Blue Origin's team took a bold different approach. The distinctive aerodynamic fins visible on the inner stage weren't just a design choice. They emerged from countless hours of wind tunnel testing and computational analysis, representing a unique solution to the complex physics of rocket recovery. The launch pad itself holds secrets of future ambitions. Launch Complex 36's massive infrastructure wasn't just built for New Glenn. It was designed with the future New Armstrong vehicle in mind. The twin towers rising alongside the rocket tell their own story. The left tower, more robust and complex, houses critical systems and access points, while its counterpart stands guardian against Florida's fierce lightning storms. A dramatic moment in today's testing occurred when the propellant loading sequence began. The careful choreography of cryogenic fluids flowing through the vehicle's veins showcases the precision required in modern rocketry. Each valve actuation, each pressure reading, carries the weight of mission success or failure. The rocket's massive seven-meter fairing represents another leap forward in capability. Unlike anything currently flying from American soil, this payload volume opens new possibilities for satellite deployment and space station construction. The upcoming Blue Ring Pathfinder mission, while technically impressive, barely scratches the surface of what this vehicle can achieve. Behind the scenes, three more New Glenn vehicles are taking shape in various stages of production. This parallel processing approach marks a significant departure from traditional rocket manufacturing, showcasing Blue Origin's commitment to establishing a sustainable launch cadence. Each vehicle incorporates lessons learned from its predecessors, creating a continuous cycle of improvement. Today's testing has revealed something unexpected, the remarkable speed of New Glenn's fueling operations. While other rockets might take hours to load propellants, New Glenn's advanced systems can complete the process in just 30 minutes. This breakthrough in ground operations efficiency could revolutionize launch operations, potentially enabling multiple launches within the same launch window. The integration of liquid oxygen and liquid natural gas propellants wasn't just a technical decision. It represents a carefully calculated balance between performance, handling safety, and future aspirations. The second stage's hydrogen-oxygen system adds another layer of complexity, optimized for the demanding requirements of orbital operations. As we continue monitoring today's tests, the relationship between ground systems and vehicle becomes apparent. The transporter erector, far from being just a support structure, serves as a lifeline for the rocket, providing crucial connections for power, data, and propellants. This massive piece of ground infrastructure, moving with precision despite its size, 
demonstrates the intricate dance between vehicle and ground systems. What makes today's testing particularly significant is its role in validating New Glenn's entire launch system. Each vent we observe, each flare stack ignition, represents a critical step toward first flight. The methodical approach might seem slow to outside observers, but it reflects decades of spaceflight lessons learned, often through difficult experiences. The weather conditions today have added another layer of complexity to testing operations. Florida's characteristic atmospheric conditions create unique challenges for cryogenic loading and venting operations. Yet the New Glenn team has incorporated these environmental 